Hi guys, my name is Viral Shah and welcome back to my channel Render Rebels. We are going to continue on our introductory series on Unreal Engine. In today's video, we are going to look at how you can create a new project in Unreal Engine, how you can navigate in Unreal Engine, how you can move, rotate and scale objects in Unreal Engine and we are also going to create a small room with the help of the starter content pack provided by Epic Games and we are also going to apply some materials to that room. So without any delay, let's start the video. Now we are into Epic Games Launcher. Here you can see we have installed 5.3.2 version and now we are going to click on launch. As soon as you click on the launch icon, basically Unreal will start in the background and as you can see Unreal is getting loaded. Here the shaders will be compiled and all the necessary files will be loaded. Once it is loaded, you will see a screen here. Let's wait. Now let's just maximize this view. Here on the left side, you can see Unreal provides us with some templates to get started. We have some game templates here. As you can see, we have a blank template. We have a first person shooter template as we see in Call of Duty games. We have a third person as we see in GTA game. We have a top down, which you can see basically in the strategy games. We have a handheld AR, we have virtual reality and we have a vehicle simulator for games like NFS and all that stuff. If I click on film video and live events, you can see we have templates regarding film and televisions. Here you can see we have templates regarding virtual production, DMX, in-camera VFX and end display. Then if I click on architecture, you will see there are several templates related to architecture like ArcWays, Design Configurator, handheld AR and etc. Once I scroll downwards to automotive product design and manufacturing, you can see here we have photo studio, product configurator, collab viewer and handheld AR. And last but not the least is our simulation. And here you can see again we have AR, VR and simulation blank template. Now what is the reason behind giving this much template? So on the back end when you click on a template which is basically configured by games, you will see that you will not get that much reflections like you will get 512 or 1024 reflections to the max. But if I create an architecture template, you also know that in architecture glass shaders are really important. So the reflections are by default set to 2048 and we are also having ray tracing on by default. But when I click on the game template, you can see here we have the option to turn on the ray tracing or turn off the ray tracing. For now, we are going to create a blank template here. We are going to just load it with starter content and we are going to load it with ray tracing. Okay, let's do one thing. Let's turn off this ray tracing and we will also turn on starter content pack after basically creating the new project. Now, here if you see in the downward section, you will see that there is a project location here and there is a project name here. I would prefer use the drive that has some 50 to 60 GB of space available because when you are working on an Unreal project and you are uh, installing basically mega scan assets, you are downloading some trees and all that stuff, it is going to get huge like 20 to 30 GB. So just make sure that you use the drive which has some space like 50 to 60 GB. We are going to create an E project one and we are going to name it to our let's say practice one or project one. Okay, once this is done, what we will do, we will click on create. Now, once you click on create, if you are installing Unreal Engine for the first time and you are running Unreal Engine for the first time, it is going to compile the shaders like five to 6,000 shaders. And depending on your GPU, it is going to take time to compile that shaders. So be patient till the Unreal Engine screen is loaded. Once the screen is loaded, you will see something like this. What we will do, we will close this, we will just dismiss this and we will update the scene. So you will see something like this on your screen. Don't worry, we are going to cover each and every topic one by one. What we are going to do, as you can see, there are lots of objects we are seeing in our outliner. So we are going to go to file. Just follow my step guys. I will explain each and everything in detail in some time. And if I go to file menu, you will see there is a new level written over here. Now, what does a new level means? When you are using Blender or Maya or 3ds Max, you create a new scene. Here, it is referred as new level. So what we are going to do, we are going to click on new level here. As soon as you click on new level, you will be again provided with four templates here. Open world, empty open world, basic and empty level. We are going to start with the basic here and we are going to click on create. 
Okay, we are not saving this scene because we don't want to save this scene right now. Okay, you will see there are some basically objects in the viewport. This is what we call is a viewport. On bottom side, you will find there is a content drawer. On right side, you will find there is a outliner and there is a detail panel. Now, whenever you click on any object in an outliner, you will see the properties displayed in the details panel here. Okay. And you can see there is a folder called lighting. So if I hide this, you will see my lighting is gone. If I unhide this, you will see my lighting is back in the viewport. Okay. You will find several menus here. File menu, edit menu, window menu, tools, build, select, actor and help. We are going to learn how you can navigate in Unreal Engine. So it's really easy guys. If you are familiar with playing games with W, A, S and D, it's similar in Unreal Engine. But you just need to hold right mouse button. So as soon as I hold my right mouse button and I press W, you can see we are moving forward. If I hold my right mouse button and press S, I am moving backward. If I press A, I am moving left. If I press D, I am moving right. If I press Q, I am moving down. If I press E, I am moving up. But I am basically doing this while holding right mouse button how I can look around in Unreal Engine. So it's really easy again guys. Just hold that right mouse button and basically pan your mouse left and right. So as soon as you pan your mouse left and right by holding right mouse button, you will see my screen is going from left to right. And same way if I pan my mouse up and down while holding right mouse button, you can see my basically screen is going up and down here. Okay, so it's this easy. Now, what is content drawer? Let's just take some time to understand what is content drawer here. As you can see, you will find all the content that Unreal Engine provide in this content library or content drawer. Okay, you will not see this polygon flow here, guys. You will only see a content and an engine. If you want to see this engine here, you can click on settings and you can basically click here and show engine content. So let me turn it off. You we are seeing only content. If I turn it on again, you will see show engine content also. Okay. Now what we are going to do guys, we are going to create a folder here because we are going to work in an organized manner in Unreal Engine. If you don't do this, you are going to get lost when you are working on a big project here. So what we are going to do, we are going to click on content. We are going to right click here and we are going to create a new folder. So let's just rename it to project one. Okay, let's press enter. Now again, there is a shortcut keys guys to create a new folder. It's control plus shift plus N. N for new folder. Okay, and now you can rename. We will name it to levels. Okay, we are going to create a new folder here. We are going to name it to materials. So whenever we are going to create our material, we are going to put in this folder. Okay, we are going to then create a folder for sequence. So whenever we are going to animate our scene, we are going to put in sequence. So for right now, we are only going to create these three folders. So we are going to go to file and what we are going to do, we are going to do save current level as and where we are going to save, we are going to go to project one, we are going to go to levels and we are going to name it here to project one. Okay, and let's press enter. Okay guys, now we are going to learn how we can create basic objects in Unreal Engine. So here you can see there is an icon called quickly add to the project. So as you can see, there is a cube and there is a plus. So which suggests that you can create objects with this menu. Okay, let's just click on this. And as you can see, we have several tabs here. Basic, light, shape, cinematics, media plate, visual effects, volumes and etc. But we are not going to focus into all that. We are going to take it step by step. Now what we are going to do, we are going to click on shape and then we are going to click on cube here. And as I click on cube here, you can see we have got our cube here. Okay. Now if you remember how we can basically zoom in and zoom out or go in and go out by holding right mouse button and by pressing W here. And now if I rotate, I can see my cube which is available here. Okay. Let's say if you are somewhere over here and if you want to zoom on at that object, then what you can do, you can press basically F to focus on that object here. Okay. Now, as you can see, we are getting this gizmo here. 
z is upward axis x is left and right and y is front and back here so if i press this z axis here you can see our object is going up and down if i press x axis here you will see our object is going left and right and if i press y axis here our object is going front and back there is the shortcut key for move for scale and for rotate if you press w key it's for move if you press e key it's for rotate if you press r key it is for scale let's press e and as you can see we are getting this gizmo here okay if i press this x axis here you can see our cube is being rotated in 10 10 degree axis here okay we can change this also we are going to look to that in just a second you can basically rotate in z also okay so you can basically rotate objects here now let's say you don't want to rotate in 10 10 degree angles you want to rotate it freely so what you can do you can come up here and basically you can click on this blue icon here and now you can see basically we can rotate our object in points now you can say it's going into minus 1 2 3 plus 1 2 3 48 49 50 so it's getting in point here now let's do one thing let's just do something like this and now let's press w here if we want to move this object upwards we need to go something like this and this okay let's say we want this axis as per our object only so what you can do you can click on this key here okay and then you can switch to object axis or world axis so as soon as i switch on to object axis you can see our axis are now basically following our object so if i rotate it here and if i press w you can see our object axis are following our object here now if i press r key press in middle here you can see our object is getting bigger or smaller and if i press again on this blue icon here and if i now resize you can see we are getting the resize smoothly here okay so basically these are working like a snap so if i on this it will snap into 10 degree angles if i on this it will scale to 0.25 move it downwards so it will go in 10 grid space see now you can say it is going in 10 10 grid space okay so to undo you can press ctrl z to redo you can press ctrl y so ctrl z is for undo and ctrl y is for redo if you want to snap the object to the ground here you need to press the end key and as soon as you press the end key here you will see our object is snapped to our flow here let's learn how you can basically duplicate the object in unreal so if you hold alter and drag you can basically create copies in unreal engine so hold alter and drag in the axis that you want it will create a copy again what we will do we will hold alter and we will drag i am moving in unreal engine and basically i am panning with the help of right mouse button as we discussed earlier okay now if you want to basically select objects more than once what you need to do you need to hold control and you need to select the objects and if i now press alter and take the copies now you can see we are getting the copies here let's delete all the stuff here and we are going to load a starter content pack so we can create a basic room here with the help of the tools that we have learned so what we will do we will go into outliner we will select the cube here we will hold shift and select the last cube and we will press delete here so you can see all our cubes are being deleted here to load the starter content pack what we need to do we need to go to content drawer here we need to click on add and here you will find add feature or content pack just click on add feature or content pack and from here go to content and click on starter content just click on that and add to your project here as soon as it is loaded you will see that we are getting starter content folder in our content folders here okay now let's understand content browser here okay if i close this and if i close this also and i open content drawer here you can see we are having our project one we are having a starter content if i go to basically architecture you can see we are having some walls some basically floor windows and all that stuff here if i again go back to starter content you can see we are having hdri we are having some materials here okay we are having some particles here so let's go back to starter content whenever you drag certain object in unreal engine basically they are called static actors let's just drag and drop our wall here of 400 by 400 
okay now as soon as i drag and drop my wall here you can see i have got the wall here okay now let's just do one thing let's quickly create a basic room we are going to rotate and take a copy we are going to hold alter and we are going to take a copy now you can see it is not snapping guys so to snap the rotation what we are going to do we are going to click on this rotation here and we are going to hold alter and we are going to snap it to 90 degrees okay now this is done now let's do one thing let's create a copy here so we will press w okay or else what we can do we can basically rotate this also but if you rotate the pivot point is here so it will get rotated here so what we are going to do we are going to select this we are going to hold alter and basically we are going to snap it here and why it is snapping because our grid snap is on here okay that's great now let's do one thing let's just basically create one more wall here so we are going to basically hold alter and we are going to create one more copy here okay now you can see basically our room is ready now what is remaining basically our floor so what we can do we can press e again we can hold alter and basically we can do something like this in 90 degree so you can see now we are having that floor here and now what will we do we will press again w okay and we are going to hold alter and we are basically going to take a copy here for our ceiling we will replace this wall with our door and we are going to replace this wall with our window it's really easy to swap objects in unreal engine you just need to select the object first okay then you need to go to content drawer now as you can see guys here it is located in architecture but let's say you don't know where are the static mesh located what you can do you can turn on the filters also how you can turn on the filters you see this burger icon here click on that and now you can see basically we can load the static mesh filter and now you can see we are getting all the static mesh that are in the starter content folder if i click on architecture you can see the static mesh related to architecture if i go to materials you will not see anything because there are no static mesh or any objects in materials folder so again we are going to click on architecture here we are going to click on this window now make sure it's 400 by 400 only okay and then what we are going to do if you scroll downwards in the details panel of that wall you will find here there is a icon here in static mesh see this one so basically this icon what it does it replaces the object which is selected in the content drawer so if i select this here this will get replaced see so if i select this here okay 400 by 400 wall then this will get replaced here see so now let's do one thing let's just replace this also with our door so we are going to select this we are going to select our wall door which is 400 by 400 and we are going to click here and now you can see we have our simple room which is created in unreal engine so let's just go inside okay and now you can see we can see our room here now let's rotate the sun here let's just see a shortcut press ctrl plus l and just over your mouse up and down or left and right and now you can see basically our sun is getting rotated here so if i want this sun on this wall what i can do i can press ctrl l and basically i can do something like this we will basically replace the materials here so how we can replace the materials if i go to content drawer and if i click on material you will see there is not a material available here why is it because we have basically turned on the filter of static mesh so let's just turn this off and same way now you can see our materials are being displayed now let's say you don't know where your materials are located what you can do you can add a filter for material also so if i click on this filter material and now you can see it is showing all the materials that are in the starter content okay now let's do one thing guys let's just apply basically a concrete material on the walls here you can see it's written concrete board okay i will just drag and drop it here and now you can see we have basically applied the concrete material now what you can do you can replace the material the same way as we replace the object so what do we do basically we will click on this concrete pour and what do we do we will select the object and here you can see the material and we can replace the material also now let's say we want a floor material of wood so what we can do 
we can scroll downwards and we can drag and drop the floor material here and now you can see your simple room is ready in Unreal Engine. And now you can play with the lighting. Again, what is the shortcut key? Control plus L. And then basically you can move the lighting. Basically you are moving the sun and doing a sunset. As you can see outwards. Or you can do a sun rise also. If we are going, what we will do? We will save the scene. So we will press Control S and this will save our project here. In next video, we are going to start introduction to materials in this introductory series of Unreal Engine. Till then, practice what I have taught today by watching the video. And if you find any queries or any doubts or any difficulties while practicing on this video, just let me know in the comment section below. I will be happy to answer your questions. If you like my video, please press the like button, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel for the future videos.